What's up everybody? Today I'm gonna do a quick overview of my uh, truck. It's a 2013 Toyota Tundra Platinum. Um, I'll tell you some of the things I've done to it and some of the brands. I This is not a sponsored video, so you'll get my honest opinion about uh, their stuff and hopefully you know it can help you in the future with your purchases and your opinion about the companies. So starting at the front, uh, we have a Grillcraft grill. Uh, it did not come with the lettering that I custom ordered uh, at a shop. You can actually get them online, that's what I did. Uh, you choose the font, you choose the lettering size, and they laser cut it for you. And then I just did the paint myself. Uh, and of course you use goop, that stuff is amazing. It'll literally glue anything together. So I used goop uh, to put those lettering on the grill. This is where that grill is coming from. For the headlights, we do have Morimoto. Uh, first time I bought that brand, and I absolutely love it. I know there's another brand called Alpharex, and I have not tried it yet. I haven't had as many cars to try it on yet, but uh, Morimoto, I've had an issue with the first set, to be honest. There was a fogging issue on the inside. However, it was the easiest exchange ever. Um, they exchanged it no problem whatsoever. I just sent them a picture, and then they were able to send me a new pair of headlights right away. So. Uh, I was back in business, so they do stand by their product, even though I know it's a newer company. Uh, they definitely do a great job with that. And I do have the fog lights as well from Morimoto. They're all right. Um, I wouldn't go crazy about them. You can get definitely much brighter ones, but in terms of quality, they have been serving me well. Uh, nothing, nothing too fancy, uh, but for the price, definitely a good buy. Uh, the latest addition that I have on here are those light bars at the bottom. So the two little ones on the sides are actually turned on by one switch and that big middle one is turned on by another switch. Uh, they're not nothing like crazy fancy. It's not like rigid indus industries. Uh, they do have really great stuff, but it's pricey. So this is the cheaper stuff uh, just for the looks mainly. And it does actually help at nighttime. Uh, but if I could get rigid industries, that would be nice. Maybe in the future sometime I'll do that. Uh, I'll show you the switches and if you ever wanna know how to wire those up the way I did, uh, cause I did a little bit differently, I'll be able to, I'll gladly show it to you. Going on to the side, I do have the TRD Pro BBS forged rims. Uh, this did not come with my truck. This is the platinum edition, so they came on. It came with 20 inch alloy wheels. And they were great, but I wanted to do the whole blackout style uh, back in the day. <laughs> and I ended up buying these off of a 2020 uh, Toyota Tundra TRD. They were brand new. I think I bought them for like 1200 bucks with the tires, brand new Michelins, uh, which now need replacement, but definitely a great deal. Uh, I love those wheels when they're clean. This is a work truck, so don't mind how filthy it is. Uh, but of course I wanted to stick with Toyota because um, Toyota brand, I wasn't sure, what, I'm not really familiar with the whole offset deal and I didn't want any rubbing issues later on so I ended up just going with Toyota knowing that it's going to fit right. So that's definitely a really nice set of wheels that we got here. Uh, the bumpers were bef uh, chrome before, however I did paint them so if anybody wants to argue that you cannot paint chrome. Uh, that's a lie <laughs> because if you sand it down well enough prime it well enough it does hold on and I've done this I believe two years ago or three years ago and the only issue that I've had with it is actually the clear coat so the paint holds on really well and this is the front bumper it gets the most you know most damage and I did get hit already before um, so the paint holds on great so does the primer and it's all spray can uh, but if you take it out of your shop too soon, put it, install it back on in the freezing weather, that uh, clear coat will start chipping. So that's the only issue, but this is all chrome. It was the bumper, uh, the grill cover was chrome. Same thing with the mirror covers. All that was chrome and the, the handles were chrome as well. Uh, I was able to paint it and I have no problems with it besides you know, the clear coat because I took it out too soon. Uh, one of the other things I did is I painted the badges. They're starting to peel. I also took it out too soon. It was November, it was freezing. And I needed my truck for work, so I had to take it out. But 
Uh, if you wait long enough, let the clear coat dry properly, let it cure. I don't think you'll have an issue. For the running boards, I had some chrome running boards before. Now I have the NFAB, uh, I believe these are the Predator uh, model ones. And they're uh, fully aluminum, which is absolutely amazing. They're really light. And I did have an issue with one set before. So my issue was that this end cap, uh, one of the end caps had the powder coat come off. So they are powder coated, which is great. Um, but the powder coat started coming off. I do live in Pennsylvania, so it does get uh, salty and nasty here. So the weather is pretty brutal. And NFAB was able to actually send me two brand new uh, running boards. They exchanged them for the old ones, even though they could have just sent me one end cap, which takes one screw to <laughs> take off. They ended up sending me two brand new uh, running boards that they do stand by their product and definitely something I would look into if uh, in the future, whether it's bumpers or running boards or anything like that. Uh, my suspension here, of course, is all fully custom remade because I do tow a lot of trailers, including a dump trailer, which was always uh, overweight. So I ended up going with Bilstein 6112s and for the front and Bilstein 51, I believe 16s is what they are for the back or 5160s. One of those. It's been it's been a long time. Uh, so that's for the shocks and for the leaf springs. I went with Alcan springs, so they do make you custom springs with custom lift amount that you want, and they are hand built. Uh, I do love the Bilsteins, the Alcans. I'm not sure if I would go that route again. I had airbags before this setup from uh, the company Airbag. <laughs> or Airlift, I believe. Airlift was the company, yep. And I had the fancy one where it had a compressor with a remote and all that. And the ride was absolutely horrible. It was stiff even, even though it was on five PSI, which is the minimum you could put on there. The truck was still loaded in the back, fully loaded with people, and that ride was stiff. So I wouldn't go down that route again. However, Firestone airbags is probably what I would do for next uh, my next truck because I did that on my buddy's truck and there's no ride quality difference and I actually definitely go down that route again if I do have to tow a lot. Moving on, we do have this little guy here who doesn't really help me with mileage because, well, he's just a sticker. But, you know, it gives you extra five horsepower. Uh, this does help with mileage though. That's very helpful. So I get like, you know, 18, 19 miles to the gallon in the city driving recklessly which is great uh, no not really but it would have been nice uh, for the cover I do have a Retrax Pro XR cover uh, it is the one that's on the remote and the reason I got it with a remote is because I do have that rack on top and this entire setup was built because of that rack on top I wanted to have bike racks or uh, any type of rack that you can put on there like snowboard racks I have in the winter time uh, fishing as well so the, the cover was built was bought because of that uh, however I would never buy again it's filthy expensive and it leaks and that company does not stand behind their product because I've had um, I've sent them emails that it leaks and their reply to me was well every cover leaks so we can't really do anything about it and so yeah uh, which I understandable. Yeah, if people install it incorrectly, which huh, I've done plenty of installs and plenty of research and um, It could leak. I would understand if it would leak like from the side here going to seep through here uh, Bad seals and whatnot or from the front like it would leak from here, which makes sense But it's not it's literally leaking right in the middle like if you go down there in the middle uh, the water just seeping through those uh, through those cracks, which is something that I would expect a brand like this, you know, a product like this not to happen, but it does. For the crossbars, we do have Rhino Rack. Um, I do love those crossbars. They are a good brand, in my opinion. Uh, nothing too expensive, but they do great. Uh, they're very adjustable, easy to take off, literally just, you, they have, give you a lock and keys. Take off these, 
they clip off and you can literally just take off the entire rack within two minutes which is really nice if you need uh, extra room uh, and that rack is in the way the bicycle racks of course are Yakima or Yakima I don't know how to pronounce that uh, but that's what they are and I've had them on there for quite a few years they are amazing uh, and I would definitely buy them again even though they are pricey so you just put that up put any wheel on there anything from I believe 24 inch to 29 and it literally locks in there and it's really amazing uh, I've used it a lot it's secure I've used it on trips cross-country trip and definitely something worth investing into um, so I would definitely get that again uh, I did try to put in all LED lights interior lights or LED we'll go to the interior soon exterior as well I put in some extra lights in the back here uh, it's nothing expensive but it does get the job done if you do need extra lighting backing up to a trailer or backing up in the middle of the night uh, those little lights in the tail light they're just not enough and I put some LED bulbs in there which helps but it's just still not enough uh, the only thing I wish they did make is a better design LED tail lights for for these trucks but unfortunately newer ones have better ones the older ones don't have that even aftermarket so i ended up sticking with the old halogen bulbs uh, but the bumper also is painted uh, for the hitch i do have bmw three ball mount adjustable hitch because i did i did and i still do tow different trailers with different ball mounts um, and this thing is amazing it's fully adjustable you got to make sure you lock it because i think nowadays it costs about 300 bucks uh, which is too expensive for something that can get stolen easily so you got to make sure you lock it but definitely worth the money for me every single penny uh, i've been using it i've overloaded it it's not a secret i've overloaded it by a heck of a lot more than what it's rated for uh, by accident but it, it happened uh, and it held up really well so definitely something i would buy again inside i've done a video about this when you open it up you do have the interior lighting in there uh, it's simple i did have the installation video of it or at least how i did it so that's uh something i think you should have in the bed of the truck and uh the bed liner came in with my truck my truck was completely different than what it did before but that bed liner is something that the previous owner got and definitely something that you do need to get it does protect your the better your truck keeps it from rusting once you, you know you chip off the paint bringing stuff home and let's get to the interior and hopefully you guys actually like the build if there is any questions or concerns oh one more thing for the outside those window visors uh they're from weathertech you can get different brand ones i've had good luck with weathertech so far uh, it is made in Germany, so anything that's made in Germany, actually Germany and not fake Germany, uh, I do think it's actually pretty good quality. So I've had good luck with these on multiple cars. So they're really useful when winter time comes around, you know, and it gets too hot in the car. You want to get some fresh air, you can crack those open while still having the heat on. You won't get snow inside. Same thing for summertime when it's raining crack those open leave the car like that you can have a breeze going through there so it's not super hot when you get you know when you get back to the car so definitely a must-have uh, for the inside let me get that key so it stops beeping for the inside I didn't do a whole lot on the inside um, there is a trailer brake controller here and it's from the previous owner and it's definitely useful because I do have trailers with electric brakes on them and the older model tundras uh, i believe 2013 and older they did not have this coming in stock the newer ones they have it come in built in which is great uh, i think every truck should have that and hopefully the companies nowadays will do that uh, so that's definitely a must have I did wrap all the handles around uh, i know the newer model tundras you guys get a little jealous because we do have this grab handle here and you guys need to pay another 200 bucks just to get it and put it in and apparently it's on the back order because a lot of you complain about it um i don't blame you it's definitely useful when you get in the truck it does help so on the inside here i don't have a whole lot of custom work uh, one of the things i did get done is those switches there that's for the two front lights 
and this one for the rear lights and the way I wanted to do it is uh, there's actually two LEDs in there so uh, the bottom LEDs it tells you what it is like a LED light bar or rear lights and then the top LED is when you turn on the light itself these come on as well uh, the way I wanted to do it of course if you turn on your lights in the truck I wanted these to come on make sure that you can see at nighttime when you're driving what you're turning on and then once you turn on the light the other portion comes on so uh, took a little bit of uh, thinking to figure out how to wire those up properly but I did it and if you guys want some help with that I'll be glad to do so and of course I wanted to use switches that looked like they were built in uh, they, these don't come in orange unfortunately to match the rest of the truck the older model ones uh, however it's still useful and it looks pretty cool uh, in, even in blue and then the other one thing must have in the car you gotta have that dash cam nowadays people are insane driving so you gotta have that little dash cam for me I got I had different ones this is a Garmin uh, Garmin 67W I believe is what it is I love it I've had different ones a lot of them stopped working after a year or so it's been about a year this one hasn't stopped working yet so hopefully it won't stop working and that little thing that little monitor right here that is actually a tire pressure monitor for my trailer in case anybody ever tows trailers and wants some insight on that uh, there's actually a trailer video that I put up so you can see that definitely something I must have other than that nothing much custom me here uh, I did some LED lighting I just bought a whole kit for the entire truck much brighter than before uh, worth having because you, you might need some lighting at nighttime. It does come in with lighting everywhere, including here when it turns on. So, definitely useful. And last but not least, those floor mats. They're from WeatherTech, once again. WeatherTech makes great stuff. You can get other ones, they're just floor liners. Uh, they do come for the front and the back. Definitely a must have, uh, even if you don't work in the construction field. So, uh, you know winter time you got all the slush coming in you, it, you know it's gonna stay in the same spot uh, it's not gonna pour out onto your carpeting and I some people use it only in the winter time or summertime I don't know for some reason they think it's seasonal I use it all the time even in the summer because you get dirty and you get grass everything it stays in there you just take it out wash it out with a hose useful absolutely amazing stuff uh, definitely something that i think is essential on a truck like this so hopefully you guys like this build if you do have any questions feel free to ask uh if there's something that you guys want to know how to build or you have ideas for a future build um i will gladly hear so i would like to put a print to rack on top with some lighting however they're filthy expensive so for now we're gonna keep it on a budget and not put that up there um coming up i have I have some stop tech rotors coming in which I ordered about three months ago and supposedly they might come in at the end of August they might ship out at the end of August so it's been what four or five months now and I still haven't gotten my rotors because they back ordered that that much um, so I have that coming in I'll be doing a full brake change uh, so I'll be doing rotors and pads and I'll make might do a video if you guys want about that uh, the way I do it and I uh, think that's about it for now if you guys like the video please uh, put a like and subscribe and I'll be able to bring you more videos like this in the future